Hey. Hi. Hello. Hey. hey. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm good. 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 It's always like smoke. <laughs> like we always have already talked. Like we, we fake this intro for the listener out there, yeah. right? We, we um, fake it for you because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much. <laughs> 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 no, it's we good. It. I promise. <laughs> yeah, it's real. Okay, <clears throat> right. it's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I it, I swear. Okay, we actually have guests on this I episode. Know. Um. Oh my gosh, is this our first like guest of the year? It is. Yes, oh, it is. Yes. Oh, this is our first guest of the. Is it? I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Wait. We. we yes. Yeah? It's oh, only the thirtieth of January, yeah. guys. Like it. Shh, don't, this is gonna be released later. Oh, You're I'm mixing sorry. up the Ruining magic. The okay. Ruining the magic. Yeah. No, this is <sighs> our first one of the, the year. The year. Yeah. Awesome. So <laughs> I'm gonna bring them on, and then <laughs> and then they can introduce themselves. Uh, it's two members of Galactic North Productions uh, who release Life and Death on the Rim. Uh, there's a little character there in the trailer and stuff named Havilla Gurner. Her voice might sound familiar to you. Uh, so I'll bring them on and then they can uh, introduce themselves. How's it going? Uh, so if you guys, <laughs> yeah, well, if you guys would just want to introduce yourselves to the listener, um, what you, what you guys do. I mean, I know you guys have introduced yourselves already. I'm sorry to do this twice. Oh my <laughs> God, yeah. It's a repeat. Sorry. It's really such a pain. Yeah. But I'll do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah uh hunter or hc ogden's my uh writer creator name um founder and business director for galactic north productions and creator and writer of life and death on the rim which is a star wars uh fan series um if you're into that and uh we're also working on a bunch more stuff but i'll leave it to mia so she can hi. do her introduction <laughs> oh i thank you hi i'm mia aurora i started off as a voice actor for on Life and Death on the Rin. Um, but now I also help out on the board member side of things, like co-producing the um, Life and Death on the Rim now, as well as our other audio dramas coming up. And I also dabble in the uh, social media accounts for Galactic North and just helping out here and there whenever I can. Mia does so much. I said this during the pre-drinks episode, but she's all, she's all, I, I, I don't know how she keeps up with it, but, uh, I don't, but yeah. Social media, getting, <laughs> getting casting done, retrieving lines, et cetera, and keeping things actually organized, which, you know, previously might've been an issue. <laughs> yeah. It was a mess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hunter, Mia, um, you want to tell us what you're drinking tonight? I am going the non-alcoholic route because I have school tomorrow. Uh, oh, my husband bought me some. <laughs> <laughs> my husband bought me my favorite Canada dry ginger ale. We love yeah! that. Oh yeah, you're in Canada. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a white Russian. Uh, Ooh, with rum. Nice. Hey, that's with one rum. with milk, right? Yes. <laughs> the milk and rum. Yeah. Uh, he- heavy, heavy cream. <laughs> Kahlua and rum. Mm. Oh, not even milk. <laughs> no, <laughs> milk. no milk. Well, cream is, you know, it's kind of milk. It's dairy. Milk's brother. <laughs> it's milk's it's brother. Milk. <laughs> yeah, very it's, close. It's thicker brother. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, what are you drinking today? Oh. Uh, I'm drinking the classic uh, rum and Diet Coke is always my go to, uh, but I'm drinking it my. Uh, mother-in-law heard about so um for our listeners uh some of you might already know because i probably ranted about this on a previous episode my daughter's new habit is grabbing mugs and smashing them on the ground uh so we needed new ones so now i have all these like older women mugs <laughs> that, uh, come with, in a variety of fruit oh, like, they, like this smashing. one is <laughs> <laughs> like apricot or something so yeah so i'm drinking out of these now because that's all i got for dishes more ceramic Sonia. mugs for them to smash <laughs> them my goodness yeah, just yep. warm. <laughs> um i'm drinking too um i got the baileys and coffee and i got the rum and sprite so, so. Yeah. I, was, I was too busy with the pre-drink game to drink so i'm just catching up <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got appointments tomorrow, so I'm doing the sober route, too. I got water, and I got Diet Coke on the go, too. 
Uh, see, double fisting. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> double Staying <laughs> hydrated and yeah. sober. Very cool. <laughs> like the ADHD drinks where you need to yeah. have, you know, your one drink for I'm pleasure, yes. your water for <laughs> hydration, <laughs> your other for caffeine. Yeah. Yeah, little drink goblins. Yeah. 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 Speaking, of the, uh, <laughs> speaking of the pre the pregame I, thing that we did, the yeah. uh, trivia deal, that was pretty fun. I mean, if anybody's not a patron, they're kind of missing out. So <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree, Andre. Yes. So, yeah. So hop on over to our Patreon. Uh at the five dollars and up tier, that's where you get access to all of our extra video content, video shows on there. Um, as well as we do uh have a new lower tier option where you get Still access to some of the free downloadable content on there, as well as uh, the weekly weekly newsletter that Sonia is now doing uh, for each one of the episodes with a little cocktail recipe, lets you get a taste of the episode before it's released, everything else. So yeah, check it out. Yeah. And there's will be by the time this episode comes out, there'll be a new like middle tier, middle late tier. There's like, you know, there'll be like a, <laughs> another one between tier. VIP. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little, lots of new stuff there. So if you haven't checked it out. Yeah, so just check it, check it out. Even if you don't want to, can't, you know, afford to pay $5 a month, that's fine. Um, but, like, check it out. You can follow it for free. Because sometimes we post things that are available to everyone. So whether you're a paid member or not. All right. So this because is. Because we're nice. Because we're nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is the point where <laughs> we pick our topic. Oh my gosh, please work. So I'm ready. really hoping the wheel is nice to our guests. Yeah. I'm really hoping. Yeah, it's like a fun no, topic. Cross, not, cross oh, I'm over depressing. here squinting trying like a, to read all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot there. There's enough for like four years of podcasts. This will, yeah. yeah. Wow. Camp out. Ooh. Yeah, what is something okay. you would camp out on the sidewalk to wait in line for? Oh my Ooh. gosh. <laughs> Back in the day, I mean, I guess people still do that for like things like cups now. But back in the day, it was for like video games and stuff, you know. But now you yeah. just it's, it's online. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 side. You like you set up your order in your door. Yeah, GameStop back in the day was pretty pretty lit on the uh, release days for for big games. I was pretty, yeah, pretty freaking cool. people just lines out, all the yeah. way outside the parking lot and shit. Pretty crazy. Walmart, tents. GameStop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole the tents and everything. <laughs> Gosh, I'm now you just set up, yeah. Now you just set up like six computers and then just refresh <laughs> until it yeah. comes available. Yeah. The magic's gone. <laughs> yeah, the magic, the magic of freezing your ass off. Uh, and I, I was just keeping up the Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like the magic of, you know, having a hard copy and then, I don't know, just that excitement. Yep. It's just, yep. now it's just a notification like, oh, it's ready to start. Or still needs yeah, to, right, to download. <laughs> yeah. it really, it's just about the Wi-Fi, like that your download speed and everything. Yeah, I, rem I remember we lived. I lived out in Tennessee for a little bit in this little tiny home on a property, and it was like our internet sucked. I'm talking like <laughs> 2.3 megabytes a second. Imagine oh downloading one of these like 60 gig games. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I swear, I think we had to wait for like days sometimes <laughs> to play a video oh, game. Oh, I would like so cheese. The, the download bar says like 36 years. You're like, oh, that sounds <laughs> right. That, that sounds right. Yeah. That's yeah, legit. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm very I'm sure. very happy with Google Fiber. If, uh, if, if anybody has Google Fiber or wants good internet, I highly recommend this is a plug for Google Fiber. <laughs> Google Fiber? <laughs> I never heard of that. <laughs> I feel bad because Sonya has to deal with Elon Musk internet. Oh. Yeah. oh. It's, but it's, it's better than satellite. Good. It's better than satellite, right? Although I heard it's a it little satellite. It is satellite. <laughs> it is satellite. Yeah, it yeah. Is, well, it's, it's just satellite, but satellite. it's more... It's different, right? Uh, they just... Steal other people's satellites. I'm sure. Um, yeah. it's, it's not <laughs> so bad. It's better because I live in the middle of nowhere, so it's better right. mm. than like Bell. Um, that's like a company we have. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. and um, <laughs> internet and Rogers stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there's a monopoly problem with yeah. internet in right. Canada. Um, mm. so like it's literally two companies. Um, and they uh, sometimes they own like smaller companies in the yeah. area, you know. So but you're still it's still always yeah. just companies, no matter yeah. what you do. So yeah. we pay 
up the Brazil, ass yeah. for internet. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty there. similar Brazil. to Missouri as well, or at least St. Louis, from what I know. Yeah, damn. Yeah, the whole uh, process it's, it's it sucks. Yeah, satellite. If I, yeah, if I could get fiber internet here, I'd wait three days on the sidewalk. That's it, though. That's my max. <laughs> <Longer than three laughs> <days. No. laughs> That's what you'll wait on the sidewalk for. Yeah. yeah. There we go. It, We've it's got just Sonya's so bad. answer now. Yeah. yeah, it's just so <laughs> bad sometimes. It's like you pay so much money and you're promised this like amazing internet, but he like over delivered and there was mm-hmm. like not enough satellites up in the space. To <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, I, it's always Wait. interesting talking to people who have got it because I know so few. I've only heard you're the second person I think that I've heard of that's got it. So there's yeah. a lot of people in my neighborhood in my province um, that has it. Um, yeah, because yeah. it's really the best internet around, unless you live in the city, which is three hours away. Um, oh my gosh. It, they have fiber. <laughs> but yeah. live if you live in the Maritimes, you know, uh, the sm- beside small, Maine, yeah. like I can throw a rock <laughs> and it'll hit Maine. Um, <laughs> oh, dang. That was very close. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget the, their connect, like the, the border. They're, si- oh, they're side okay. by side. Yeah. They're just even right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're kissing like our, neighbors. Yeah. Our country's attached to the other country. It's cool. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're Whoa, basically next no door way. neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, uh, amiable, why only three amiable days, neighbors though? too? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, the amiable for now. Amiable neighbors, uh, U.S. and Canada. <laughs> yeah, for now. Oh no. <laughs> so, like, There's like a so, secret conspiracy against. There is. Yeah, we like <laughs> stare at each other. <laughs> 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 And at Sonia's house, and we just look at the border like this, just all day. Yeah, <laughs> eventually like, I'm watching you. See us start something. It's like a cold war, just <laughs> glaring at each other. Yeah, yeah, and like, oh, that'd uh, be a good cold war. Yeah, just staring the staring contest, and a lot. The reason <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people like it's not a lot of people, but the reason like um, there's people where I live, it's because um, Canada got people from like. Europe countries to come move over to like this area. So if the states came back, we could fight them. Like, <laughs> like the Danish and stuff. <laughs> That's the whole per- that was it was. They like displaced the indigenous people. So mm, uh the yeah. white people could be like, hey, if you Americans after like the war of 1812, and they're like, if those Americans try that shit again, we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel ready, son? No. No. Do you think you're ready? They're still no. ready. No, there's, there's. I got. They've lost your- their resolve. <laughs> yeah. like, do. It's been like a few hundred years. I got yeah. shit they to do. Yeah, I'm just waiting, staring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the cross. <laughs> That's all we do here. There's nothing else. There's no good internet. We're just waiting for a war. That's all. That's right. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. But wouldn't it be such a fun like community building activity if you all just were like practicing for the war that's not headed your way? Like that's the whole military. Just, <laughs> it would definitely, it would definitely the increase style. That's the whole point of the military. The yeah, the military. Yeah, contend. but like I'm just saying, not military, because like I don't want them to actually go to battle. I want them right, reenactments. Right. Reenactments. Do, a reenactment of something like, that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, it's basically a, role a playing. Play. That's yeah. what I'm yeah. saying. Make a, a community Make a play. play. Yeah. A community play. <laughs> What's that thing called? LARPing or something? LARP. LARPing. Yeah. We're, oh, yeah. yeah good LARPing. LARP. Oh. <laughs> You're a Canadian shoulder soldier. Here's your stats, <laughs> like in the yeah. little stat cards and everything. Oh, Here's like, your abilities. Like the inbred community of New Brunswick will fight the inbred community of Maine, and we'll see which yeah. one wins. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be savage. Inbreds versus inbred. <laughs> yeah, they're like running in circles. Oh, I just, just want to be like a disclaimer because there's people in my community that listen. I'm just kidding. I just, 
but really y'all we're are white inbreds. we're inbred <laughs> like, we're all, we're all going inbred. on there yeah. uh, <laughs> just kidding <laughs> please oh don't God. come to my house my JK, 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 JK. jk no because i live in such a small community everybody knows where i live i'm the chicken lady that gives away <laughs> eggs <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> That's the egg lady. Oh. Get her. <laughs> yeah, no. I th- okay, I but if a- they are yeah. listening, see if they'll be on for like the community play reenactment LARPing idea. Okay, if you're listening. Putting out feelers. We're just putting out feelers. Putting out feelers. <laughs> they would. Uh, there's so many people in this area. I'm talking shit again, guys. Cover your ears. They are so proud to be like colonizers. They have their like Danish flags. They have like colonizing day they call it something else but they're like hey oh what is it called when you like go somewhere as a group it, Fuck. nomad nomadic no um no, it's not a group migrating they, like, migra- like pilgrims my, like yeah pilgrims? where you settle settler day Settlers. They have settler, oh. day. settler day yeah. <laughs> yeah and they're just so proud of it and like you know what happened you know why you were here but you don't care about yeah the, like we're past yeah. it being like not Murderers. knowing like mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah they like, like now so they all have like know the Danish history legs, like flying around They're like oh settlers day <laughs> and then like the indigenous Oof. community is like down the road there is sort of an irony there. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's the same thing with the U.S. I was just reading this book that was all about the uh, basically how we totally killed off all the Native Americans in the United <laughs> States, and now yeah. we're like we're like no foreigners. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're like that too though we're like everybody's like yeah. that they're like Only this is like twinsies. we forget really quick how many yeah. people yeah. that we killed so yeah we'll murder everybody. oh yeah we still forget Only white shit people. got dark we just laugh all the time like we've we've talked about like you know the all the dead children bodies that have been dug up recently in canada you know like oh my god wait yeah, how yeah. recent i feel like oh this is god. turning into <laughs> a true crime residential schools yeah residential yeah the yeah. states have oh, them too shit. the last yeah, one in yeah. canada closed in 94 so not that long ago uh, i was born so already by then so uh but yeah they found like thousands of two, children's bodies in the backyard four years ago <laughs> i just went by so schools. quick yeah. um yeah it was i think 2019 yeah so four four-ish a little bit more yeah. years ago and there's it's over five thousand with Can- canada and, yeah, and they're the constantly States. still yeah. Yeah, still digging up and bodies. stuff. Yeah, it's Holy depressing, cow. but it's good. Yeah, to but let it's Canada. Know. Yeah, it's Canada. Settler Day. Yeah, Settler Day. <laughs> that's what Settler I mean. Day. Like, like it's in June, and then in September is like Indigenous Peoples Month. Mm. You know, like it's like okay, <laughs> it's <Oof>. bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Small, small town mentalities. Take longer to die. But uh sidewalk, what would I want to be on a sidewalk for? <laughs> Perfect transition. Um, oh yeah, I'm so good with transitions, guys. Don't worry, you'll get you to it. There's always toys. Uh, like back when we were younger, Dom Ray did went to go get boobas for my oldest. Oh my god, wait yeah. line for that. Wait, what is it called? A booba. Boobas. Boob- booba. What is that? It's like a. Ooba. It was a TV show. It was a dancing blob. Of yeah, like, and like their walk, and the then they, like thing. their name is Boo. It's no, it's oh, a yeah. nursery <laughs> show. <laughs> and like, and then they're like, Booba. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Wait, and then they dance, and by dance they do like this weird arm choreography until and all the rainbow down, colored like, boobas yeah. come out, yeah. and then they're all just matching, and then they go faster, and they go yeah. faster until they're spinning, and then they turn into the rainbow, and then it cuts to a child real wow. in real life talking about their family. That's a what different child. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so sort of like, <laughs> right Are now, you looking it up so, right now? Yeah, I'm making it up as we speak. It's fascinating. It's sort of like a, it's a cult. 
It's a cult, yeah. Uh, cult, yeah. I, I used to tell like my younger brother at the time uh, was into boobas, and I'd be like, "Hey, why don't you dance like a booba?" And then he just spin around really fast, knocking into furniture. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like a big like cultural moment in Canada, at least. It reminds yeah. me of Furbies, just a little bit. Oh yeah, they were like Furbies if Furbies were people. <laughs> Jessica's oh. gonna go get her Furby. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. She's like I have one. It's here. I can't reach it. It's too high. I was gonna <laughs> grab it. It's like it's on my wall. <laughs> Furbies. Furbies. Nice. Furbies. <laughs> like yeah, and we. Yeah. I, what would you? What would you wait for on the on the sidewalk? I mean, at this well, point, for- just like. I don't know. Honestly, like any concert, but there were some. <laughs> there were some bands like I. I would probably camp out for just for the sheer like. I need some dopamine in my life because <laughs> like I, like I was telling them on the yeah on the Patreon segment or before we start recording like I'm just so busy with school and internships and shit like I need something I need some break or something good to happen so I would be totally down to camp out for like a um some specific bands I was trying to see. I was actually trying to go to a, a concert in May for this band called Sleep Token. Um, but there was this whole drama where we registered to get a pre-sale code, but the pre-sale code never came out the day of. So a bunch of people didn't get their codes. And literally 24, 24 hours later, they sent the codes fucking late. <laughs> and by the time I got the code, or by the time of the next pre-sale for tickets the whole venue was already sold out in my location like mm. almost all the tickets are sold out for their entire tour i was so mad so wow. i probably i probably camp out for them as well as just any of the other bands that i wow. listen to at this point they must be crazy popular so you're talking about them selling out within like minutes uh, basically it do- yeah like, it sold out very like, quickly I- sleep token never- people are also desperate mm-hmm. to like go places yeah so like a like a lot <laughs> of like indie bands that are touring right now are like selling out two three four hundred five you said 500 venues that yeah. normally they wouldn't because people are desperate like yeah, yeah. that and they're yeah. just growing in their popularity like within the yeah. year they gained like two million i think like monthly listeners on spotify oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah and i, I love their music good. i've been listening to their albums like back to back because i don't know i just like it. it's it's so good music is my go-to for my dopamine nowadays so, mia, yeah. mia seems really calm but actually she has a rage monster inside of her <laughs> inside i feel like they literally shirt ones just listen to heavy metal <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they should make like waiting on a sidewalk like mandatory for like uh ticket sales again for things because it is really stupid when like some people that can have five computers open up or like all their friends mm-hmm. like, ready to like get Thank tickets you. while yeah. like other people and then like, there's and then there's the fucking bots and scalpers like they mm. actually yeah. made an announcement mm-hmm. after all it was sold out they said that they're trying to track down on if tickets were bought by bots and scalpers. So I guess potentially disperse it to people who signed up like myself for the pre-sale, like, like a good noodle, but I'm, <laughs> I don't have my hopes up for that. I'm just thinking, Oh, well maybe next year. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> we just cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bought myself some merch to fill that void in the meantime. <laughs> But we'll yeah. that's next time. We're gonna team up on it for uh, for Mia next time. Next time, sleep token. Yeah, yes. we'll yes. team up. let us know. All of our Assemble. computers. We'll yeah. have our be our computers ready and then just send them over. Hell yeah! Oh, thanks guys. <laughs> yeah, because I feel the depression. We, the we, I think. <laughs> we all have the depression. We are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a reason we drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even when we have responsibility we're like man nope i don't care those kids are taking no. care of themselves <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. cereal Mom, for dinner medicate. yeah i mean shoot it's too expensive to actually medicate fuck it <laughs> right <laughs> I actually, please be responsible, okay. people. Whoever's listening, don't don't listen <laughs> <Yeah>. to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a what I would wait on the sidewalk for. Ooh, go a family doctor. 
<laughs> yeah, like an actual yes. cop. That was like, like just primary care. Wait on the sidewalk for like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we, we don't have healthcare yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's wow. fucking shit now. So um, yeah, so is that, so, yeah, is that so difficult I, to get good healthcare? For. It is. And um, if you got a family doctor, uh, don't change. Um, it like in Canada, a lot of doctors are leaving to go to the states and other countries because they get paid better. Okay. Um, and then the government is also not uh, having enough spaces for these doctors at oh, the hospitals goodness. or private practices gotcha. um, so, so this yeah, is the I downside know. to like people yeah. in the u.s talk oh, about is, that we want free health care and this is like well listen to this this first. is not the downside to that this is the downside to uh greedy corporations because what ends up happening is now um health is run by our provincial government so mm, the, all like they're doing is underfunding mm -hmm. They're underfunding the healthcare mm. so that they can private. introduce private sector healthcare. So right now, wow. there's actually even a merger going on oh, wow. with Manulife Financial and Shoppers Drug Mart Love Laws. Yep. Uh, hey, Galen Weston, my favorite oligarch. I love you. <laughs> uh, again, it's on site if I ever see him. On site. <laughs> um, so now they're making it. <laughs> they're that making it really serious. Jokes. It, it's this a joke for legal reasons. Reason. <laughs> for legal reasons. This is for legal reasons. Oh my god. Um, yeah, they're doing the merger right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyone that is using Manulife Financial uh healthcare uh or uh, insurance. uh health insurance, yeah, yeah, um, will be required to get their um medication at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is wow. technically not allowed. But whether mm -hmm. the government stops them, it's really ah. interesting. Yeah. So, so they're, so it used to be better. Yeah. So they're underfunding uh, the, yeah. the 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 government uh, health care so that they can make people basically force people into the position where they will pay for private health care. Yeah, yes. that's that's, that's exactly the position yeah, I'm in right now. Wow. Yeah. So before, so we have uh, several types of governments, and the one <laughs> um, in charge in several provinces. Uh, are called conservatives and they're more like your um republicans republican there you go Don conservative yeah. republicans yeah. yeah yeah so before it was like a uh, more like liberal type government that was like okay we need universal health care and then right uh, more doctors it was really easy to get care but in the last 15 years it's been declining uh due to government and the funding and where I live now, I moved from the province there into a different province. Um, I have to pay for healthcare because there's no doctors here. There's doctors for people who've already had doctors, but people who move here, there's no doctors. And it's supposed to be universal. So the whole country is supposed to get universal healthcare, but uh, it's a federal law, but they leave it for provinces, the provinces to, to, yeah, to take yeah. care of. Yeah. So where I live, uh, even though I am allowed to have free health care, I do not get it. So. We just had this discussion about health care, and it actually caused me to change my answer. Um, I'd actually wait on the sidewalk to meet Galen Weston. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Ford, that that is, who is that? Yeah. Galen yeah. Weston? Yeah, who is that? Is that the uh, Outlanders he, guy? Is that the Outlanders guy? <laughs> he looks like an he, Outlander. He, no, he's, he he's looks the, like, he, yeah, he's, I yeah, was about PC. to say, my girlfriend is like in love with this freaking guy. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he's, it's he's on really site for Hunts here as soon as he sees him. Ugly looking dude. No, he, he's like. Yeah, he's when so you nasty. said Galen, I was like, this sounds Irish. It's the actor. Galen. I already know it. Weston, yeah. He like owns our food. Junior. It's Junior. Galen yeah. Weston. Oh, okay. yeah. So he owns where yeah. the food comes from and where the food's going for people to buy. So he's making it cost more to make food, like package it and stuff and deliver to grocery stores that he owns. So he's getting double profit and food is so expensive that people are either like living with 10 different like family homes or staying in domestic abuse relationships, relationships. Oh my yeah. God. or being homeless. Well, and he owns, 
he owns yeah. multiple brands mm -hmm. of grocery store. Mm -hmm. So he owns the stores for poor people, you know, the ones with all the discounts and mm -hmm. cheap stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he also owns the bougie stores for mm -hmm. the rich people. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. have, there's no, and, and he owns Shoppers Drug Mart, which is yeah, they're... where people get their medication. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that interesting? I just heard about the same thing, like the same company owns, uh, what was it? Um, Gap, Old Navy, and oh i think banana uh, republic yeah banana you, republic? you named it thank you yeah 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 it's always interesting how they do that they're like here's our three tier system for you that is actually mm -hmm. what it is yeah and then there's like brand loyalty but the same guy owns all the brands and i had no idea yeah. until like i shopped at old navy as a kid like you know uh, i I'm had no idea there i'm broke i'm just kidding yeah. <laughs> it's expensive yeah, no, they got some good <laughs> shit <laughs> yeah you're Rep like oh yeah, they're like, oh, they got like their cheaper stuff, but it's expensive, like $25 yeah. for a pair of jeans. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not expensive. For a single bra. I think that's oh. the same for all oh. bras in general, but yeah, I feel it's you there. expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Overpriced. 40 bucks for like a good one. And then it goes mm -hmm. bad. Okay, like, okay. Why be you for yourself. I have to go to a specialty store. Like, yeah. I like oh so I'm like 120 bucks if I'm oh my I was gonna lucky. say I'm big chested. I'm spending over a hundred bucks on a bra. Oh no. Like, oh I would gosh. never. I'd rather yeah. just have them drag on the ground. No, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them over your you shoulder. You know, no, no. no. <laughs> I would not pay that much. Oh, poor Hunter. <laughs> Think them in your pants. I have done I'm that. just saying, maybe on the floor, like there's better ways, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, like in the pockets, if you have pockets in your pants. <laughs> right. Make sure you wear a guy Could pants. Could you imagine then. a dress <laughs> with titty pockets? <laughs> <laughs> like they're on the inside of the dress it has so like in the skirt <laughs> <Don't you mean? laughs> just pull it up just logistically i find that difficult <laughs> well, if you, i'm just saying it holds them i'm sure the like right, I, I got you I, I got you i'm just i just don't I'm, it's just like testicles because you're not like, wearing a bra <laughs> yeah. hunter's so, just trying so, to so, contribute i'm just yeah. trying to figure it out i'm trying to just like, what if you had like no, boxers with like testicle pockets? Like, just hold those in. <laughs> that, that, you know, nothing swaying about. <laughs> nothing Did you get righty and lefty leg. boxers? Like, in which side you prefer? Like, like where you prefer to rest it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a specific, like, a specifically designed. Yeah, you could buy le left for boxers, male comfort. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a really nice material. Oh Obviously, so it's the best for our customers. <laughs> yeah, 3,000 thread Very count. Nice. You got Egyptian And I'm button. charging 120 bucks. Yeah, Call exactly. it the, uh, the male oh price gosh. tag, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Specialty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. What would so I wait on the sidewalk people would wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I would wait on the sidewalk for now. <laughs> They what have underwear on? like that already. Like it's it's like boxers, and then in the middle they have like a nice little pocket there to like keep the boys tight hug? and not yeah real? hug them. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, they're real. They're real underpants. There's no pocket, but <laughs> it's, they like, don't call it a pocket, but like, we call it a pocket. Yeah, it kind of like it's, it's like, like a hand, like, like it cradles it, yeah, them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cradles them in there, holds them wow. like a nice okay. little. And we're not talking about Could you we're not imagine? talking about boxer briefs. We're talking about something else briefs, that's been no. specially constructed yeah. for holding. No, they're briefs <laughs> for your balls. <laughs> yeah, no, they're <laughs> underwear, yeah. canes, or fruit of the loom. One of the two. <laughs> wow. I'm just imagining a bunch of guys like coming in, like in their boxers. I don't know. Maybe they're changing in sports. I don't know. Something, something where a bunch of men are naked. It happens all the time, apparently. Yeah, um, all day, every day. And, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and the guy's like, Ooh, nice boxers. Where'd you get them? You're like, Oh, you know, I got it from so and so. <laughs> it has pockets. And then you like, <laughs> No guy said, Are we? This is like a definitely, this is a gay thing because straight I got guys it. Like, oh, yeah. no. We're in the locker it's, room. Hey, guys, hey, bro, totally what are you wearing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah. Straight men are the gay. He just cares about your comfort. Like, straight men are the gay. Yeah, straight men are the gay. Ain't gayer than the straight so man. That's a bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, have you seen sports? It's pretty gay. You don't mm-hmm. kiss the homies all goodnight. Gay. Now in the same the room, smacking each other's asses, they just want to wrestle and touch each other all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh! And what's with the pants? They're always wearing tight pants in every sport, almost. Oh, That's tight for pants. like movement. baseball pants. That's science. That's, That's science for the other yes. dude, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, bro. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 was, it wasn't crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did these squats. I'm starting, but the more that we talk about it, I'm starting to get your comment, Sonia, about the <laughs> straight guys to the case. <laughs> well, it's like, the it's like, then you go in the, well, you go in the deep end, you go to like those bros that like. <laughs> I hate my girlfriend, or I hate you know, like there's no the old ball and chain. I'm like, is, is that what straight is? Hating your wife? Like I don't <laughs> yeah. under, you know, like straight culture just in general is just very, very gay. gay. <laughs> it's, it's very gay. Very gay. <laughs> like straight men hate gay women. Now. Yeah. I think we're. I think there's yeah, a confusion. <laughs> of there, that's a that's a that's a low self esteem support superiority complex kind of thing. I think we're talking about. Uh, there is, yeah. Very true. Mm-hmm. There's, there's like so just, men you have there. a girlfriend yeah. or a wife, but you can't. You just want to talk shit on her because it makes you feel good. I think we're talking about. Oh, one hundred. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very yeah, toxic yeah. indeed. They're just so <laughs> loud about it. So like, <laughs> it just makes it look like almost all of them because they're so loud. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. bodybuilders. Sorry, I'm going on my list of straight things that are gay. Bodybuilders <laughs> aren't working out to get women. They're working out to impress other men. <laughs> gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you <laughs> <laughs> gotta write a piece like, we would have never known yeah for all you bodybuilder guys out there we yeah. know why you're doing it yeah uh. <laughs> the male gays like in movies were like they're like oh women want this like uh who are those people chris people chris pratt uh chris evans those guys chris yeah evans. where the they're like, all buff yeah, yeah the chrises <laughs> and they're like oh the women like this no that's not what the women like that's what the men like Loki. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. so you're the saying you're saying women don't like fit guys not really no no we you don't have know. to be super fit, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> they just need to bring us like coffee in bed. Remember our favorite. Yeah, thing? that's a good yeah. one. Just give it's compliments like, here and there. Yeah, women Amy like cheese. Act that's all you gotta do. Not, not I'm having a yet. difficult cheese. time with this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take, take no. Everything you do is not true. <laughs> yeah. We're re-educating you now. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's definitely for other men. Um Women like a little squish most of the time. Like the majority yeah. of women like squish. Um, this yeah. actually brings up a conversation I was having with my girlfriend where like I start getting a little bit of body fat, belly fat le- lately. And I like was, for instance, I was just telling her the other day, I was driving in my car and I can feel my belly hanging over my seatbelt. And it messed with me so bad because Aww. I grew up so skinny. <laughs> And now I can feel it over my seatbelt, and I'm like, this is gross to me. Like, I can't stand it. You know, I, I, it, this is like driving me crazy. I have to fix this, like, <laughs> all this stuff. And she's like, you're getting big. Like, don't worry about it. I'm like, I can't, I can't take it. So I have to, in my mind, I have to fix it. But, you know, that's just, that's just me. But you're right oh, about no, that. At least for her, in. she doesn't care. She doesn't, yeah. she's like, she's no. fine with it. As long as you give her cheese. Give her exactly. cheese. I brought I bought cheese literally earlier at Whole Foods. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And she's You're like, you bought cheese market. just before I left because she's going on a trip. So it's, it's, winning. it's a point of contention. <laughs> I I don't know. It's like it's like it's it's just when like when I when I talk about like gym bros and stuff like that, like my husband goes to the gym, but he doesn't make it like his whole personality. Life. Right. right, right. Yeah, and that's yeah. where it gets kind of like I call those gym rats. Weird. Gym, mm-hmm. rat. gym yeah, rat. That's my gym rat. Yeah, gym, yeah. gym rats. I don't know I why that is. But I don't know where that came from, but that's <laughs> you would line know. up for cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Any that's- specific kind? <laughs> Not. Like the good stuff, like the sweet cheese. Like maybe if Gouda went on sale, like right now for like a tiny little thing, it's like went on sale. 25 bucks. <laughs> 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 
Oh, you get some breeze. They're, they're like, yeah, the oh, freaking little baby yes. bell cheese like this for a pack of like five is 20 bucks. Like, are you yeah. kidding me? She like, showed so, me yeah, Brie. Brie was, was like, crackers. No. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, I'm so a sucker good. for so pepper good. jack. That's my go-to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Baked Brie. You put it in a little flaky pastry. Yes. Grilled cheese. Oh. oh, grilled <laughs> cheese. Do you yeah. dip it in maple syrup? Maple like you make syrup. Grilled cheese, and then you, instead of like ketchup or anything, oh, wow. you dip it in like that sounds maple so Canadian. Syrup. I do it's love so maple good. syrup. It does sound Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I do love maple syrup. I've definitely never had it on my grilled cheese or cheese. Oh, you got it! I just, I, I just learned it. it moving here to the, like this Atlantic province. Uh, people do that around here, apparently. Fucking French people, and it's so <laughs> good. <laughs> like, French people are like getting into the Canadian culture. Everything is toasted in like maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, it like, sounds oh. like elf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, oh, he just puts maple syrup everything. on everything. Yeah. <laughs> People put sugar in their pasta sauce here. I was like, who does that? Yeah, I Dude. used to do that. Sh Brown she does the same thing. Sauce. We have we have pasta so with was it uh black beans pasta, and we'll put like sugar, some hot sauce, some like parmesan or whatever, like, and it is delicious. Like it, but that's a Venezuelan thing, so I don't know. I don't that's know. Kind of a, that's kind of a Filipino <laughs> thing too. They'll put um like sugar on their uh, spaghetti, and like specifically yeah. like the marinara. Yeah, stuff. I never uh, had that until I until me we dated. Yeah. No, yeah. it's all. That's there's already I so mean, much sugar, sugar on pasta. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't need any more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pasta itself. Do carbs have sh carbs have sugar? Yeah. I'm not a, carbs I'm are all far from a carbs are all sugar. So, <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. so you yeah. start with like your simple glucoses and you mm -hmm. know that kind of stuff, and then when it becomes like a chain, and, and then it's carbs. Yeah. So it's like good test for you, Hunter. Take a saltine cracker, uh -huh. put it in. Um, so you have an, an analyze or whatever the enzyme in your saliva is the first okay. that breaks oh, down carbs. Analyze, I think. Hold it in your yeah yeah. You hold it in your mouth and just mm -hmm. let it dissolve, and it'll start to taste from salty to sweet. Because oh. it's the carbs breaking down into the sugars. Oh, interesting. Thank you to my grade 11 science teacher. Because I'm learning <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that shit in high school. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I'm insulin resistant, so I can't have a lot of sugar. So um, I have to look up, like, carbohydrates, which are on your packages. And that's any, that's all sugars. Sugars mm -hmm. break down to carbs. And then carbs from breads and pasta. Break down to, like, glucose. It's all, stuff, yeah, yeah, all breaks down to the sugars. So you got to, like, do math. You're like, okay, if I have <laughs> this much sugar, and then you subtract the amount of fiber, and then you're like, okay, that's my allowed amount of sugar. Fuck oh that. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> I guess I'm dying. Yeah, everything has sugar in it. Oh, everything. my gosh. Everything yeah, this is vegetable. definitely, like, right? Yeah. It's it's sugars and carbs or fats, right? And and I think it's, like, the keto. Is it the keto thing where you go? Yeah, it's, like, Atkins. Yeah. yeah, keto diet. Yeah, like yeah. Stay all the, way, yeah stay the, the diet that carbs. was developed for epileptic children, the keto <laughs> diet, that diet. Yeah. Oh, I knew really? somebody who lost a lot, a decent amount of weight on that. Uh, it, yeah, I think it but worked. you get fat on your heart and liver and kidneys and your liver yeah she yeah. lost like uh over 100 pounds and then she died from a heart um, attack no no <laughs> not yet i'm no. sure oh, oh, but, like, it's, but it does it's very bad you did have to fix her diet because she was getting health issues yeah it. it's yeah. so it a bad for long terms yeah it's like here have a bacon every day and so like your yeah. heart just gets into like this armor of bacon <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i remember it from everything else <laughs> i remember the girl i knew someone my twin was dating and he and she started talking about she was doing keto she did lose a decent amount of weight uh she was definitely was looking looking like uh better from it but she was she started bragging about how she could eat as many pork rinds as she wanted and i was like <laughs> oh. i was like that doesn't sound good but uh <laughs> No, it's good for you. It's not the brain that's the, <laughs> the flex you want. Like, yeah. yeah, go get your liver tested, it's sweetheart. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. so well, that, like I have beef with it just because like my son has epilepsy, so mm. like you know, so I researched it and stuff, and it's like. Um, the people that do the diet to lose weight most mm. of the time are not doing it properly because they'll just yeah. eat all the bacon, all the pork rinds, right. right. It's like right. if you're actually 
It's well, and like deal. you go through the keto cold, healthy which fats makes versus you like bad fats and stuff like sick. that. You think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Like if if uh, a person with epilepsy is starting the keto diet, they generally spend the first three days in the hospital Ouch. to be monitored Ooh. because such a change. The diet needs to be strict. So the diet's yeah. like certain portions to get all your macros and everything. Um, and just yeah, like it's. When you say macros it's in so, that sense, what does that mean? Because when I think of macro, I just think of the micro versus macro and like the big versus small scope and stuff like that. Like what is macros? Yeah, in the it's nutritional like mac- sense? macros are your like fat, protein, carbs, that kind of stuff. So it's like in a pie chart and you want to like work out the percentage. And then micros are your vitamins, minerals, that kind of stuff. So if mm-hmm. you're uh, doing keto, you're looking at your macros and stuff because you need to worry about the fat and the protein and make sure your carbs are like under like 20% or something. Yeah. Yeah. So like real keto is for kids. Um, and for <laughs> with kids, epilepsy, that is yes. consistent. Like, yes. Try kids first. Yes. And then the pretend keto is just like some Gwyneth Paltrow bitch was like, Oh, try this new diet. So that's the one everybody else talks about. It's not the real one. It's Atkins with it rebranding. Um, yeah. And like yes. 20 years ago, Atkins got sued. So like yeah, wasn't Atkins was what, it was like a high acidity or something? That's all the fat, all the bacon and stuff you get to eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like that's what it is. It's it's just Atkins who got a good PR person to somehow uh, yeah, and then got the magazines <laughs> and people yeah. start freaking out over it and yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what the keto is now. It's anything that sounds <clears throat> easy and will eliminate all my problems quickly. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's not right. Don't believe no. the hype. Yeah. For real, like those commercials where it's like, I lost 50 pounds in a month. That doesn't sound healthy. I'm it's eating not. pork rinds. Pork rinds. Although if there was like a like you get to go get like fat sucked out of your ass, I'd line up for that. Why not? You would sign up. <laughs> <laughs> like line up. Just like ah. I'm gonna go. Oh, like go like Tuesday liposuction oh, deals. Yes, but for I, free. See, I, see, <laughs> for I'm the op- free. Yeah, I'm the- free plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the opposite because I'm like, man, you're just gonna blow your money because it's gonna, you know, you same, it's same if it's you're okay. same diet or whatever, it's gonna come right back and you're. Sh- <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I'll go back in line. So I'll get the fat sucked out. <laughs> I'll go to like cheesecake for three months and then I'll go back. All right, like it's. It's no free. harm. Like, no harm. Like, no harm. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh man, like it's starting to get a little like lumpy back there. Can you fix it up for me? Top me off. <laughs> Dude, it reminds me. I mean, since we're talking about plastic surgery, the liposuction stuff like that, like the. Uh, BBLs. Uh, mm-hmm. dude, there's like a mm-hmm. pretty decent risk for uh, is it yep. death or something yes. like that? Uh, or something yeah, they're, goes they're majorly dangerous. wrong. Dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it? Like, I mean, I'm in Miami. It's you know, there's a oh, lot. Oh yeah, of you are in Miami. Around. <laughs> What's a BBL? <laughs> Brazilian, Brazilian butt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got it now. Yeah. That's like it's because of the like become a vascular. Yeah, but boot like a boob job and stuff. They're like putting in implants and stuff like that for the BBLs. Right. They actually have to like restructure the like big veins and stuff in oh your ass, God. and that's where most of the risk comes from. Because if they don't put that you together, well, then you're just the losing veins. blood supply. Oh my, that's oh, wow. yeah. Is, like, is, that, is that what goes wrong? Is that is that the main? I don't think it's the vein. It's like some blood artery. Like I don't know. It's like like one yeah. artery in your yeah, butt. There's a lot of arteries like, nearby there. The... Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's like a really big one too like, yeah you it, you die. and so it's that's where the risk is yeah isn't there like oh, an implant so option bad. though because i could have swore i saw this video oh of like goodness. one girl's like oh yeah they butt do, implant but was they like, to, like lopsided or something <laughs> i shouldn't laugh at that horrible notch that like got in trouble for that or something. lumpy butt <laughs> yeah they can have like a backyard fucking butt job before yeah backyard yeah, probably butt like, job. make sure you go to a reputable yeah, they yeah. probably need to be yeah. well for that. <laughs> yeah, probably. That happens a lot. That really does happen um, a lot, yeah. So I guess maybe free plastic surgery is not the good 
option. Like I it's feel like it's covered under universal health care. So technically it's not Okay, perfect. We solved <laughs> yeah, it. We solved it. Go, and yeah. our current government and I'm actually running the government now in sure, this world. Yeah. Which why is why not? I'm offering free plastic yeah. surgery. Well, yeah. it's not happening with our current government. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Out, but but does, so so does the uh, universal healthcare thing i mean that doesn't co cover cosmetics though, no right? it doesn't no okay. <laughs> <laughs> not cosmetics from how y'all like, were talking i was like, like wait get... wait wait okay <laughs> it doesn't no, even talking about new have, rules like, from jessica yeah yeah doesn't just even cover world. dental <laughs> yeah not even eye care even cover dental or eye car Care, oh, wow. I care, yeah, I, I no. care. Yeah, no. Like, wow. yeah, there's no eye care, there's no, no dental. dental. Um what the actually technically um in Ontario, if you're under the age of 18, you can see an optometrist. Um, but you're fucked for your glasses. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no like you can get a prescription but uh, I don't know what you're going to do with it <laughs> here's your no prescription money. great when can yeah. I get the contacts glasses. or glasses for this prescription <laughs> when can money. I get hit by a car <laughs> yeah it's Damn. yeah they're like five and then like if you have like uh something like specific with your eyes um the glasses like because there's monopoly on glasses uh they charge like start at like Six hundred dollars for like generic, cheaper glasses. Yeah, you it's, have to uh, pay for the frames, and then the lenses are separate. Yeah, and I go, I just go and on like the add-ons. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we just line. Yeah. <laughs> Except I had to buy like my daughter, my oldest. She has like um, a curled in eye, crazy eyes, uh, dual vision. That's what it's called. And oh, yeah. uh, like her glasses are like, crazy thick. Crazy eyes, <laughs> damn. Yeah, it's your daughter. Damn. <laughs> I love you. Um, <laughs> and they're like so expensive. You can't get them online. You have to actually go to an actual eye doctor. It's garbage. <laughs> this, this hot chocolate. Dude, oh, that. that's fancy. Yep. D does that your girlfriend fancy. deliver? She <laughs> she, deli All the way <laughs> she delivers to me, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if she delivers to Canada quite yet. We did talk about a food truck. She cooks so good that we've literally been like, we could make a food truck in Miami and succeed Ooh. 100%. Fuck the food God. trucks cost yeah. so much. They're like 50 bucks to start. Like, it's like a tiny house. Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, we would have to this sounds very personal. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my my husband and I we uh we joke, uh we say that we're Bob's Burgers. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> but he also makes really good burgers. So I was like, okay, let's let's do a food truck or something. And then we looked into it, and it's like fifty thousand dollars for a little kitchen on wheels. We're like, we'll never Holy make enough crap. burgers. <laughs> like, fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah. Canadian. So, Canadian, so it's like ten dollars, ten American dollars. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. Either way, that sounds ridiculous in whatever currency. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you got to find spots to like park and stuff. And it was like that's they like mm. permits to park rich, there. Rich people, yeah. You should come to oh, Miami yeah, because nobody gives a fuck here. I mean, you could just set up and like. Any, I mean, Home Depot literally has like <laughs> food trucks, <laughs> food trucks, dude. Like a lot of them. No, I've I've been to Home Depot a few times, and every single time, any day of the week, it's like a full on, almost like a party or something's going on. It's like food trucks, people, Wait. people selling meat, people selling oh, like a tailgate. Like, I gotta ask the do entire they have parking turf wars? lot. Like with their food uh -oh. trucks, like <laughs> I'm not that deep into the culture yet. I haven't gotten that. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> it's like West Side Story. Oh, you have to cover yeah, at yeah. um, like I, <laughs> That's a great <laughs> idea for a reality <laughs> show. Turf wars, <laughs> food truck wars, turf wars. Food, food truck, truck turf wars in the Home Depot parking lots in Miami. That would be. <laughs> and it's a musical. <gasps> you like, like a musical thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sorry. I was thinking real life. I was like, you do an expose and figure out all the inner beef go undercover, the food undercover. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. In Texas, I was like, I got, I loved just having the hot dog stand at the Home Depot. I don't know. Oh, street. Home, Home Depot. Is it, are you, everyone familiar with Home Depot? I just yeah, want to make we got, sure we got Home Depot here. Okay, yeah. cool. I haven't been to one in a while, but I know Canadian Tire has a hot dog stand. Yeah, I, we I love the hot dog stand. Canada but has. in Miami, they take it to a whole nother level. I mean, these people freaking go hard. And it's just all okay. Anything goes. I mean, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Like a freaking Miami Home Depot parking lot is filled with all kinds of. I don't know if they have permits. I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> like there's no such thing as permits here. <laughs> you just like walk around with like a barbecue. Like you don't have a car. Like, you don't have a truck. You just go with your barbecue. You can not. You can buy like legit. I mean, barbecue like meats. Like meat suppliers are in the parking lot. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Oh my god! Butchers are like cutting up the meat for you. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> like you bring your cow. Like you're like, oh, you're a- <laughs> there's cows. They- <laughs> there. the there's a petting like- zoo. <laughs> 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 there's, there's guys setting up the freaking Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah. Clowns now. It's like a whole <laughs> thing. Okay. Okay, but now I'm like, at what point would Home Depot get mad? Step in. Like, would it be <laughs> not <laughs> like, Miami, bro? Ferris they're not wheel. stepping in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cow. <laughs> they're just like, no. They're like, as long as you know it's the customers fine. can get in, they're, we've got fine. worse shit to worry about. You know, doesn't I mean yeah. we're like one of the murder capitals or whatever. Yeah, They've got bigger Florida. fish to fry. <laughs> you got, just yeah, drown it out with the Home Depot theme song. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the so, Home Depot theme. Right? Dun, 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 the Home dun, Depot dun, 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 dun. Uh, <laughs> parking lot parties is something I that sounds like I would. I'm gonna have to call sidewalk. the Home Depot in Miami and be like, oh. "Hey, uh, <laughs> when do you care?" Like, I'm just like, at what point? <laughs> You're gonna general. try to shut down the party? No, I just want to know <laughs> when. How big can the party get before they're like, ah, oh, no, guys, shut it down. Okay, maybe we should just do the science experiment then. Like, we, we leave one new thing going for a week. You can do like keep... for the next, like, year. Iterate. Yeah, like, iterate. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like it. some things might not bother them the first day. But then a couple days after, if it's still going on, they're like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. Like yeah. a Ferris wheel on the weekend, I get it, but uh, like, it's, it's oh, rough we're we're taking a parking about, though, here. <laughs> You probably just have to pay them off. Just yeah, just pay them yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. You gotta pay rent the parking lot. That's the pretty Ferris much feels, it. The Ferris okay. wheel is just gonna cost you. It's not a big... I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're making big bucks on the Ferris wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Home Depot gets 20% of the Ferris wheel dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we went to the DMV and it was so crazy. We went to the DMV and I really needed a new ID or license. And it was like mine was about to expire and I drive all the time. So it was like, I, you know, can't drive without an expired li- or with an expired license. I got to go to the DMV, but the website Very isn't bad. working. The phones aren't like nobody's answering on the phones. Everything's fucked up. And then we go there and literally there's people sleeping in the alleys and it smells like you know things like people were sleeping in the alleys overnight <laughs> so they have to relieve themselves mm. and um we waited until like i think it was like around 10 30 we were there from like you know whatever six seven in the morning to like 10 30 just waiting in line and there's people there that have been waiting since like 4 30 because they slept there Oh, there's cool bubbles that happen. Okay, we're doing this on. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how did that happen? It's Wait, like a Mac bubbles. thing. It's with one of the Mac updates. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. And that means, and that means that I think it's the. Is it the? Yeah, the police. What? what? I don't yeah. have that. This shit really creeped me out when I was on a Zoom call with my coworkers, and I apparently did something that to the Mac looked like a peace sign, and they said what? that there was balloons behind me, oh, and me my... and my girlfriend had just watched it, so I was like freaked the oh, fuck no. out. <laughs> The balloons. They were like, a, they were like, what? There's like balloons behind you, and I was like, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> but Don't show me that. yeah, they told us at like 10:30. They were like, no more today. You can just go and come back tomorrow. 
And we're like, we've been here since like 6, 7 a.m. All of a sudden, everybody starts like yelling at them. They have to call the cops. Um, it was a crazy, crazy deal. Anyway, Miami's it's kind of like so that's something a developing country you still have it feels like sometimes waited for, but you don't <laughs> yeah. want to. Yeah, it's something you have to wait in line for, but you don't want to. You literally live in GTA. <laughs> like Yeah, there was yeah, you can't make an and they would they would talk to, they told us in line. They kept on saying, they kept on saying like you know, go online, make an appointment or call and make an appointment. And everyone was sit, like yelling at them at some point saying like the phones aren't working. There's no appointments online. And these people are just like, you know, getting like caught by the crowd or whatever. And at some point they had to call the cops, like two or three cruisers pulled up and they started getting on their, their uh, speakers telling us to go home. And it was a whole thing, but yeah, Miami's a little, it's a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> okay. uh, that's just so a I small feel like- tangent. <laughs> Well, no, the next time we have like the question of, uh, you know, what something you'd wait on the sidewalk for. Here you I go, DMV like... in Miami. I answered the question. Like what we would I wait on the to... <laughs> We should also be able to choose location. <laughs> like, <laughs> where am I waiting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah, waiting in Missouri survive. is way different than Florida. That's a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was like minus 21 today. Imagine needing to wait for like your license oh, God. outside when no, like ew. you're like no frozen Celsius. Celsius. Yeah. And like your eyeballs oh. are frozen. Like it's no. no. <laughs> Be like, I, I'm about to lose my license. No, thank you. <laughs> Why do I live here where the air hurts my face? Yeah. Oh my well, God. That is crazy. Because it's where I can afford land. <laughs> I couldn't get a farm in Ontario. <laughs> oh my gosh. Unfortunately. Aww. Um, so yeah, so uh we're getting up to the end of this hour. Um, so I'm glad the topic wasn't like gross. Gross. <laughs> like yeah. I'm glad it wasn't a gross one. <laughs> yeah, I always get worried with getting yeah. uh, no, <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> so um I'll give you guys this space to like plug. Uh, whatever you guys want to plug yourselves personally as well as Galactic North and uh, let everyone know where they can find you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Galactic North Productions, uh, we've got our one main series out right now is the Life and Death on the Rim. It's Star Wars Life and Death on the Rim. Um, Mia is one of our phenomenal um, actors in that. Um, uh, very glad we cast her. You'll see, you'll see her in the in the prologue and actually throughout the season. But we've got plans for the for the future as well. Um, for um, future seasons, we're working on wrapping up season one right now. We've got a uh, prologue through episode four right now, so epi- uh, five episodes out. Working on the last two in production, and yeah, we've got some really cool series ahead of us that we're excited to get to. We're getting into our own IPs, our own creations. Um, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk <coughs> talk more about those later. Uh, but we are planning on releasing one of those to Tribeca. Uh, it's going to be a really cool um, kind of sci fi ish uh, series based on some of the origins of humanity and different theories and stuff that's come out. Um, so that that one's really exciting, sort of an adventure thriller. Um, other than that, just be on the lookout. Uh, you can go to our website, uh, www.galacticnorthproductions.net and sign up for episode alerts. So you can get alerted for any new episodes that we release um, on Twitter. We're galactic in prod um, or galactic North productions on other social media. And then um, turn it over to me, uh, Mia. I know Mia VA 96 <laughs> on casting call club. <laughs> She's phenomenal. Um, and uh Yeah. Anything else, Mia? <laughs> Hunter's my hype man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, other than Casting Call Club, um, you could find me on Twitter at Mia Aurora. I'm taking a break from Twitter, though, just because, or X, because, well, it's X. Um, but I also have an Instagram, Fair. too, um, and stuff um, where you could find like my voice acting endeavors and stuff. Still don't have my personal website yet in the middle of building that, so pray for me with that mm-hmm. but um yeah twitter instagram i also do great s- death screams if you need I a do. character to die <laughs> if you need or, a character to die or just scream in agony or cry realistically or sound like she's I, dying and or maybe sound like i'm dying yeah i'm your i'm your gal for that <laughs> maybe after 
after my that's internship niche. though yeah <laughs> yeah i am trying to make that niche. my niche because that is a very you know not all not people i mean voice actors are willing to go into that depth of it i take a, a lot of inspiration from voice actors who go hard in those realms of like acting so. yes exactly <laughs> We all know. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for me. <laughs> yep, cool, yep. Great. Thank you cool. so much. And yeah. We'll have description or uh, links in the description below. So uh, check check them out. So uh, we want to thank you so much for being on. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks thank for having you. us. This is so much fun. This is my <laughs> second podcast ever. <laughs> You're a natural, darling. You're a natural. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thanks for having us. Oh, glad yeah, no problem. I'm glad it wasn't okay. too awkward for you with the pocket. Pocket rocket. <laughs> the and the... The pocket rocket. The pocket. For like the dress, the booby The pocket. ideas for the yeah. new bras and stuff. No, yeah. it's cool. We're just yeah. talking logistics. and. <laughs> yeah, logistics. <laughs> we we're just designing, brainstorming new. here. This yeah. is innovative. Yeah, market it. <laughs> market it. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to Stephanie Hurst, our VIP Patreon. Um, and you can find everything Opinionated Lushes at opinionatedlushes.com. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, would you buy a pair of pocket rockets for someone? Like like yeah, that sound? Pockets? Okay, we got we can't call pocket them pocket pocket rocket guys cuz that's already a thing. <laughs> yeah, so rocket pocket, not pocket rocket but rocket pocket. Ooh. We need to like we got to figure it Just out. Switch up the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, okay. We're, we'll work on it, Stephanie, and we'll get back to you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone so much for listening, and we'll see you all next week. Bye. 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 Bye.